Oh, hello, friends. This is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail American Campaign Pod Difficulty Steam Version. Boy, that's a lot to say. <laughs> All right, we're going to just advance the stage now because I, I don't really. I can't devote ships to these point of interest. So now we got a bunch of stuff. All right, they gave me some extra rifles. Uh, on December 13th, 1775, the Continental Congress establishes what will become the United States Navy by voting to support a resolution passed by the Rhode Island General Assembly. This act authorized the building of 13 frigates in three months. Five ships of 32 guns, five ships of 28 guns, and three with 24 guns. And the Continental Journal. In November of 1775, the Congress of the United States approved the formation of the Committee for Secret Correspondence to communicate with these Souvenirs, I'm not, I don't pronounce that correctly, powers of Europe to seek help against Britain openly and covertly. In April of 1777, it was renowned the Committee of Foreign Affairs. Their efforts began a flow of covert aid to the American army. Liberty came to America because these men forge alliances between the United States, France, and Spain against their mutual foe, Great Britain. Now we have a lot of POIs now. Okay, well, uh, let's see now. Now that I have 7,000, Still at a negative, but... Let me see if I can up the... It's gonna cost me a rep though, that's what really sucks. Funny how this one doesn't cost a rep. All right, I'm going to put explosive barrels on this ship. Oh, so that did cut down three knots of its speed, but they can still travel at 15 knots. That's pretty fast. And I wonder if I should bump up the crew. And that took off a half of a knot. Okay. Well, <clears throat> so they'll have 55 guys on here. Not bad. And we'll do the next battle. Alright, well, I can put three ships. I don't think I need the fire ship yet, so I will go ahead and put in my three best ships I got. There's a transport here and this is a fire ship. Alright, well, let's see. You can pause the screen if you want to read this. I'm just going to move right on here. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is the true love. 
We gotta take over or destroy the true love. And the wind's going that way, so we're gonna... I think they'll turn to us anyways. Maybe not this one, but I know this one will, because he want, he's going to he's going to want to fight us. So I'll use this ship to go get that one over there. And these two ships will go after that one. He's got 120 and he's got 40. Matter of fact, why don't I anchor him? And have this one go right over that way. Okay, we got him. That's good. Okay, so we can use the lions to go over here and take this one. Is there anybody else? Oh, yeah. There. Oh, wait a minute. There's another ship cupboard. Where is he coming from? Oh, he's a big one, though. Hmm. I'm wondering, could my... Where's my ships? Okay, well, um, okay, so... In this scenario... The objective is... Must be destroy or capture old true love. That's this ship here. So I imagine the moment we do that, this will end. So, um, and I won't have a chance to fight that other ship. But I can't let that ship get away either, though. And I don't want to destroy it.
I mean, maybe I... Okay, there's the border right there. Yeah, I don't... He's, he's too far away, so maybe... I mean, I know the moment we take this over, or we destroy it, this mission I'm sure will be over and I won't have a chance to fight that other ship. But that ship is a big ship, so maybe... I mean, I did bring three warships. But I could end up losing a ship if I were to attack that 280-man ship, sailor ship, so... It might be prudent... Yeah, because that ship is so far away. Look at on this mini-map. Oh, you think with this ship being uh, sandwiched, it would surrender. Just... I mean, you would think that. I got six on here. And it, it, his ship's big, so he's pushing me away. Okay, one of our, one of our ships have got to uh, get this guy. I mean, I got all green right here. Oh, it's a little bit yellow. Okay, he surrendered. I don't know who got him, but... Who, who got... Who, who... Which ship did it? Oh, whatever. Let's see, Andrew Dor... It's not even... Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Alright, we got it. Okay, so... I mean, I captured that ship, and, you know, you don't really get an option to fight that other ship. Because he's so far away, and you can't let this guy get away, and the moment you get him, as you can see, the mission ends. Which is nice to, you know, be able to get out of the mission, I guess, real quick, but once you get the objective, so, so I don't mind that. So I had three ships, 500 men now. So I mean, I had, a, I had a good fleet, and they almost matched me. 
but their other warship didn't get into the action, so otherwise it would have been a little bit harder. Goals, like I said, all you have to do is destroy or capture that. Once you do it, the mission ends. So if you do that, if you capture that one first, you will not have a chance to get the other one. So you always get the warship first, then get that one, and you'll be all set. And we got, we captured, uh, you know, two logs, so, alright. <clears throat> two promotions. And that supply ship gave me 10,000. So that one supply ship gives you 10,000, which like I said, in the American campaign, you need the money. And that unity sh ship has 26 guns on it, so we'll take it. Pretty cut dry battle. Alright, we, we, you know, this is the mission, uh, take her back, Mr. Hancock, blah, 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 yep, okay. Got 3,600 money, we got two prestige and one experience point. And we get our first badge of military merit. Distinguish themselves in the face of the enemy. Continental Congress, not bad. Looks okay. And we can see that right here. So it looks like there's five for each. But before I do anything like that, I like to save. Okay, got it. Alright, so now with that 10,000 that you get from that, but notice, look how, look at this. It still shows that I'm in a red, so I'm not really... Oh, because see, my funding is only 3805. And my crew is 2475, and my fleet is 5,000. I do have some captives. Okay, well, like I said, um, here I can do some research. I'm wondering what would be beneficial. Well, I think, like I said, I should um, do uh, research Kentucky Long Rifle, that'd be kind of cool, but um, yeah, I don't want to, because it did take some of my rep to do some of this stuff, so I think that'll be 
Because someday I like to use the repair kit, but... Yeah, I don't necessarily... Want to mess around with that at the moment. I do need to repair my ships. Well, they didn't, they didn't get too damaged, actually. And now I, I have three trophies. Oh, we got the true love, too, yeah. That's an unrated merchant ship. Catherine is a Corvette. And the Unity is a, a seventh rate snow. So I might sell it. Because ultimately, I'd rather unlock one of these. And I don't even have enough to unlock this ship anyways. Alright, so that'll give me 12. I still can't. And wow, this one will give you 10 rep. It's worth 15,000, whoa. Yeah, so I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, you know, it's a, it's a thing that you have to figure out what you want to do, you know, like what's your priority and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get our crews back up to Hey, and now we have those other guns, though, you know? Let's see. We have 500 of these. So if I look at my... Sh my, What gun do these guys have? Oh, they have the Longland 1722. Well, oh, uh, you know, these, uh, yeah, the, oh, okay, the, yeah. Now, these guys have the, the bayonet. And these guys don't. But that one doesn't have the bayonet, and, you know, you don't see that here. I wonder, I wonder how I even got those bayonet ones. I can't remember, but... All right, well, we won't... I am not going to worry about that. Let's go back to my ship here and let's see what this is gonna cost me see i just hate that they take a rep man boy does that really irk me but i'm gonna do it because i want i want max crew so when when you want to take over a ship you need it Yeah, and this ship, they don't require a rep, so I, I don't understand what the difference is between the two ships and why one does and one don't, you know? Here's the history guy. I can max it. Oh, but see, it's going to cost me a rep now. Let me see. I don't understand why it's costing me a rep. Okay, so I can get him to one. Once you go to 160. Okay, but once. So I'll just leave him at 168 then because I don't want to. Let's see. What happens if I give him this? Is it going to cost me rep? No? 
But yet if I just go over... Okay, so, and now it won't cost me wrap. See, if I go like that... Let me see, I got 11 there. And I still have 11, so... Yeah, that's so strange. Like I said, I don't know the mechanic of this game about why sometimes it costs a rep to upgrade your ship with, you know, with those guys. But anyways, so at least I got my three main ships. And we got 11 rep. Still got some money. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's so, uh, like I said, um, I'm going to stop it here. I um, just want to let you know that um, you can see all the choices that you have to make in this game and how it just depends on what you want to do and how much you want to put on to research and stuff. And But I do not have enough rep to even unlock any of those two ships that I want. And I'm at a negative here, as you can see, like I'm not making enough money or something to support what I have. And I don't even have, I mean, I don't think this is a large fleet. Like, I don't think a trophy should count because, you know, it's just in like, you know, neutral area. It's not really doing anything. So I have oh, one, two, three warships, one fire barrel ship, and one transport. And I'm at a negative on income. And I don't think this is a big fleet at this point in the campaign. Like, I really don't. I think it's a, a fleet that. But anyways, okay, folks. I've, I've chatted enough, you know. Like, I don't know if you people watch this and like my chatter about the game and stuff. But anyways, it's a fun game. I'm going to wish everybody in the world a great day or a great evening. Be kind to each other. That's always nice. And this is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.